Okay, so this is going to be a video of my little area where I do my nails. Um, as you can see, I have a couple stuff and maybe a bunch. I don't know. But to me, it's a lot because two years ago, I started off with just acrylic nail kit from Walmart. And till now, this is what I have. This is how far I've gotten. Um, I'm going to show you all what I have. Over here on the side, I have my tips. Right here, I have my, um, you know, my practice hands and my lamp. Uh, these two I had bought together because my idea was to make this as a training hand and set her across from me as, as you know, as like a customer, like I'm doing somebody's hand. But I decided to keep the lamp because it comes in handy. Um, but I decided just to go ahead and use as is. So I have my hot glue gun there. And here, as you can see, my little 3D roses that I had done yesterday. I was going to place on myself but decided not to. Because um, I will be having the baby soon. Over here I have my acetone and my acrylic monomer, my damp condition, all that. Um, I have my towel here. But I do use napkins. I never wipe the the brush on the towel because the acrylic powder will tend to stick to the towel. So I use a napkin over it so that when it bleeds through it just goes on the towel. On top of here I have my acrylic powders. Um, back here is mixed. Um, right here is mixed. And I have my crystals. Um, I got the um, glue for the crystals. That's the name right there of the crystals. And they are a little bit more pricey than just regular rhinestones. Um, here I have my regular acrylic powders. Down here, I just have random crap. Glitter, um, rhinestones down here. Another thing of acrylic powder cuticle, no glue. Um, the shot glass. Um, I just basically use it for acetone. I don't literally drink. Um, right here, I have my little organizer of nail polishes. And my brushes that I use. And some uh, acrylic paint. If I do white 3D acrylics and I decide to paint it, I use that. And I have some confetti here. These are hearts. And some of them are stars. But they come in varieties of colors. This is the Martha Stewart collection. I got that at Michael's. That goes around for $20 for how many bottles? I'm not sure. But that's how many bottles there are. Um... This nail drill here I got off Amazon. It comes in comes in really great for me. It works great. Um, I keep it on. The reason is because I have a foot pedal. Uh, so that I don't have to reach around the corner to turn it on and off every time I use it. And this is the nail drill here. And it works just as, you know, in the salon. But I am going to upgrade to the gold... Uh, the gold the gold cartridge uh, bits, if I'm saying it correctly. But um, it comes with this, and it holds the drill. It comes with the foot pedal. It came with the rhinestones that I showed you earlier in the wheel. And it comes with a buffer, which was this. And I didn't like it because it was like, it just didn't work for me. But anyway, um, on this side I have my cotton balls. Uh, the other crystals in there is in the little box right here. And my 8 ounce monomer. Um, I have my 32 ounce monomer because 8 ounce just went away quickly for me. And I have my 32 ounce acetone right here. Um, in this container is a loose eyeshadow powder. I basically had used it to mix it with the acrylic, and it actually works just as long as you mix it correctly. Over here is my little Storoy uh, uh, 
craft case. This goes for $150, but it was on sale at a fabric store for $24. So actually, this did come in handy for me for my nail stuff. As you can see, I still have uh, the dehydrating liquid in there and everything else. Um, it came very useful till I got me a desk and this shelf. So um, in this cabinet, I have a whole lot more stuff. I have my acetone, more monomer, my gloves, my baby oil for the aquarium nails. And in here I have some sticker forms and the drill bits in here that goes on the drill. And I have a lot of buffers in here and filers. And then my nail tip cutter right here. And, you know, I like to keep plastic bags, you know, for my little trash. So that's pretty much it. You know, like I said, I started off with just a kit, you guys. And this is all what I have now. I know these things can be pretty pricey. But if you're really into doing nails and don't have the patience to do your own, which is good, but you have the patience to do somebody else, this is where you could be. So just to give you an idea, I kind of find that myself, my passion is to do nails. I thought it would be makeup, but obviously this is what I love doing. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. You know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe. And um, you guys take care. Thanks for watching. Bye.